Terbium, the rare earth powering your gadgets. Terbium. Sounds like a sci-fi metal, right? It's real. It's rare. And it quietly powers a bunch of tech you use every day. Quick origin story. In 1843, Carl Gustav Mosander, poking around minerals from Yitterby, the mine that gave us yttrium, yterbium, erbium, terbium. Early chemists mixed up erbia and terbia. Classic 1800s chaos. Terbium is element 65, a silvery rare earth metal. Not actually rare, just hard to separate cleanly. Pure terbium took decades to isolate. Boom game changer for light and magnet tech. Fact bomb. Terbium makes that punchy true green in old school fluorescent lamps and in many display phosphors. That bright crisp green on a screen, that UV security glow. TB3 plus likely doing the work. It also shows up in TGG. Terbium gallium garnet. Used in optical isolators and Faraday rotators, keeping lasers stable in medical devices, research labs, and manufacturing. But the wild part? Turfanol D. That's a terbium dysprosium iron alloy with giant magnetostriction. It changes shape under a magnetic field. Engineers use it in precise actuator sonar haptic speakers. If you're into EVs, wine turbines, tiny terbium in neodymium magnets helps them keep cool at high temperatures. Translation, more efficient motors, less energy loss, better range, and reliability. Terbia, terbium oxide, adds stability and color control in ceramics specialty glass. Anti-counterfeiting inks flash terbium green under UV to protect cash IDs, mostly from basnesite and monazite ores. Mountain Pass, California, the U.S. role in rebuilding a domestic rare earth supply chain. Terbium, the quiet MVP behind bright green super precise motion stable lasers, tougher magnets, small element, massive impact. If that blew your mind even a little, tap like drop TB in the comments and hit subscribe for more bite-size element stories.